Well, thank you very much, Monica, Dave, and um, everybody at Positive Energy for um, you know this this event and being able to come together and kind of um, distill some things down um, in this world. The question: the role of public authorities in decision making is fundamental. Um, and I, my comments are going to be directed around Bill C-69, which is probably the, the cornerstone of you know, public authority determination of decision making going forward, certainly at the federal level with national uh, energy projects and national resource development in general. Uh, so it is a very important uh, piece of uh, legislation. Um, but it's important to step back and view the context in which this uh, bill has evolved. Um, you know, it's been over two years um, since the, the current government came in and declared, um, you know, that uh, the system was broken, there isn't trust, and so on. Um, you know, that was kind of the kickoff to the discussion on getting better decision making in Canada for major energy developments. The narrative that the NEB was broken, uh, the previous uh, regulatory framework, C of 2012, um, with its environmental impact assessments and, and navigable waters and fisheries and so on, uh, lacked public confidence and there was no trust. I mean, that was, that was it. That was just uh, the statement. So we needed to enter into a review of what that meant and how we can improve it. Um, interim processes were put in place uh, impacting uh, projects that were in the works that had gone through the regulatory process over a number of years and were hanging in the balance. Uh, this consisted primarily of more consultation, especially with Indigenous, uh, which was important, um, and to try and build public confidence in the decision making on those projects that were um, on the table at the time. Um, you know, I think the, the key thing is that today's situation uh, shows that the, the project and laws are not able to stick, uh, stick to it and get uh, a project built in the national interest. So all those things that went before that got us to a point you know, on Trans Mountain um, obviously haven't worked. So it was um, important that this new bill that came out would hopefully address after lots of consultation across country, like I said, over two years, uh, many associations and companies and so on put a lot of uh, uh, effort into defining what they thought should go into this new bill. Uh, you know, the intent of Bill 69 was to um, find, fix the process, and regain trust. Uh, that bill uh, the way we see it, and I think that that um, uh, Positive Energy in their document here outlined it, uh, uh, you know, I can read it in detail, but it gives a number of reasons why um, this Bill C-69 does not achieve that. It hasn't moved forward. A number of things, um, you know, early engagement, environmental assessment and impact agencies, a new agency to be rebuilt, um, rebranding re in some ways the NEB to the Canadian Energy Regulator. Um, and there'll be a new information um, agency set up also, uh, and some better, governments at, better governance at the NEB, a designated project list. We still don't know what that means, how it's going to be determined, uh, and that's, that's, a, that's a critical issue. Uh, it's undefined. Policy issues, climate change and gender, Indigenous, all wrapped in and hardwired policy into decision-making on processes. We certainly did, we felt that those should be dealt with outside the project evaluation process as a key, as a key thing. Um, universal public engagement. That's a really hard one, and I think a lot of the work that, that uh, Positive Energy has done is looked at that piece, but this new bill sets out that it's almost universal participation. So how do we sort that out at the end of the day, and how is that going to impact things? So ultimately, the intent was to have certainty uh, with respect to outcomes and timeliness and so on. Um, and certainly we don't see that that new bill uh, accomplishes that. So we're kind of in a way, um, we're not achieving the clarity and certainty. Um, you know, it's longer processes. 
the decision is still politicized with having to go to the cabinet to make an absolute decision. And that politicization of the process is also a concern that's still in this, in this new bill. So where are we? We're kind of where we started um, uh, in a way. Uh, and uh, government is engaging on this bill to try and understand how it can be changed. Whether there'll be uh, the willingness to make some changes, we'll see. Uh, but it is a very concerning situation, and it still doesn't uh, answer the question of, you know, the role of public authorities in decision making. How does this bill really impact it? And I, we don't think it. We don't think it does. It needs a lot more work, and. Um, you know, it just doesn't affect energy projects. It's all resource development in, in Canada. Uh, and other sectors still have issues with this bill. So in some ways, um, we've come a long way, but we're kind of in the same spot uh, with this bill. And it's clouded by uh, the outcomes of Trans Mountain and where that ended up. So all that together uh, is, a, is a really big concern in terms of how we're going to move, move forward.